All right, here's a 1992 Club Car DS that was 36 volt electric. I received it with no batteries, no electric motor. And the guy I got it from tried to do a gas conversion. He cut the aluminum frame out, so I had to add another piece of frame. My plan for this is to keep it appearing as a factory looking golf cart. That way we can ride down the streets around here and no one's really gonna complain as long as we're not cutting up too much. Um, so I have the body, brand new seat, all kind of stuff for it. So what I did was the factory axle is a 12 to one ratio. This is a 1.2 to one uh, Chinese go-kart gearbox with reverse. I had to create an overdrive. I have a 14 tooth down there driving a 10 tooth to sp speed up the um, the transmission. So I have overall final ratio of nine to one, which gives me a top speed of 18 miles per hour, which is pretty terrifying. So I have to build a steel subframe welded to the axle that we the engine and the axle move together as one. That way there's no need for chain tensioners or anything like that. I can just adjust chains as needed. Uh, the brakes do work. Pillow block bearings, a key three quarter shaft from Amazon. That's a 40 series converter and the spring is in the correct orientation. Um, when you buy these, they measure out 0.633 thousands of an inch which is a little over 5 8 so you really have to do some work I, I was able to chuck this up in my lathe with the whole gearbox spin it with a file and get it down to 5 8 to fit you know standard 5 8 sprockets not a big deal for me like I said I have a lathe it's a GX 340 11 horsepower um, I added an electric start to it so obviously when the cart's gonna be together I'm gonna have to make a muffler relocate the air filter relocate the fuel tank uh, but for test purposes it gets the job done and i want to show this as a fully adjustable transmission mount that it, that enables me to adjust this chain and the pillow block bearings are going to be fully adjustable and that's going to allow me to adjust this chain and with that said i'm going to have to adjust for the belt that gets loose so i have these rails that the engine is going to mount to only two bolts run everything's tacked together just for a test run but I'm gonna better adjust the engine forward and back to adjust the belt and I, my seats gonna come here so I'm, I have plenty of room for adjustability so let's give her a little test run obviously I'm not gonna be going fast holding the phone there's reverse neutral and forward I have no foot throttle right now, just put the lever on the engine. At this speed, it will climb over anything in its way. Best backwards driver. That's it. That's my. That's the method I chose to convert this thing to gasoline without having to buy a really expensive gasoline rear end. Stay tuned for. When I update, put the body on and get a throttle, brake lights, and try to make it street legal. Thanks for watching.